I thought swinging on bars seemed a relatively simple matter. Or so I thought. But as observed, most recently on the Australian Ninja Warrior, the technique for swinging on a bar is something I was taught. I think most people can swing on a bar, but not many know how to build upon and control that momentum. So as a gymnastics coach, I'd like to share the technique I now know, hoping that future ninjas, parkour and free running enthusiasts, and many others can get more power and gain more control over their swing. To understand this technique, you need to understand three terms. Hollow body, this is where we have our core activated and we treat our abs like a bowl of fruit loops that are about to receive their milk. Arched, this is the opposite to hollow body where we arch the body through the back and finally tap. The tap is when we swing the legs through to transition from the arched to the hollow body position. So let's take a look at the swing. Starting in hollow body at the peak of the back swing, arch the body as we begin the forward swing. Begin the tap at approximately four o'clock and finish it at eight o'clock with your feet being straight under you at around six o'clock on the rocket clock. We tap through to hollow body up to the peak of the front swing, then arch through the back swing. Leading up to the peak of the back swing, we hollow the body and now we're back where we started. You can see most of the action is happening from the back swing through to the front, especially from the back swing to six o'clock. Within that space, we must go arch, hollow, arch, tap. And if your timing is off, it can completely mess up the momentum. This technique can be slightly modified depending on the situation. Its roots are from gymnastics, so it is aimed at swinging around a stationary bar but it is technically sound with the hollow body and the arch positions being stable activated positions and the tap being the transition between the two. So a modification of that movement can be applied if you're swinging from bar to bar. You can also take the principles of your hips needing to come up in the hollow body position on that front swing to something like Ninja Warrior, where you're aiming for another target, your hips are going to have to come up and be aiming in the direction of that target. If they're not, you're gonna see yourself missing your target, and in many cases I've seen so far on Ninja Warrior, falling straight to your death. That's the video guys, any questions, comment down below. If you got something out of the video, be sure to like it. And if you're new here and like what you see, be sure to subscribe and I will see you guys for the next video.